Hello, boys and girls. Today's Thursday, and we're gonna start our morning message time with a little bit of calendar, fixing a sentence, doing our poem, and a little bit of counting and math. So let's get started. Okay, so we are still in the month of April. What month comes after April? Let's sing our song and figure that out. Maybe you know it already. Let's sing it together. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Did you hear which one comes after April? May, that's right. That'll be our next month after this one. Okay, so we are on Thursday today. And the abbreviation there is THU. Sometimes you'll see it T-H-U-R-S. Does anyone notice what's missing from the abbreviations when you shorten a word? JW has this happen in his name because his initials are an abbreviation of his full name. They don't have periods. They should. And Thursday could be T-H-U-R-S also. Um, so sometimes we'll see different things like that. They'll do it just because it looks prettier or whatever. But they should have some periods. Okay, so we are on Thursday. We come down here and it is April 9th, 2020. Let's count how many days we still have left for the month of April. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And actually there's an easier way we could do it because how many days are there in a week? There are seven. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Do you remember that one from preschool? I bet you do. So we know if we go to next Thursday, it's gonna be seven days. And then we go to another Thursday, it's gonna be another seven. And then we go to the last Thursday, it's another seven. So that's seven plus seven plus seven. Three sevens, which makes 21 the same thing there. All right, a little bit of harder math there. You can put that in your phone calculator and figure that out, seven plus seven plus seven, if we didn't know that. Your older brothers and sisters can tell you too, because that's getting into multiplication. All right, so I'm gonna move our calendar right now and let's look at our sentence today that we are going to fix let's read this see if you can read this with me together our zoom meeting was so much fan Ooh, there need to be some things fixed up in that don't they and of course I wrote this after our zoom meeting yesterday because it was a lot of fun so see if you can go ahead and write down this sentence correctly and make the fixes. And I'm gonna stop the video, you go ahead and pause it, and then I'll come back with the sentence written correctly and see if yours matches. So go ahead and pause it now. Okay, so the one in pink is the corrected one. Let's look at the things that Ms. Math has fixed. So our was spelled correctly, we know that from sight words but it needed a capital O for it being the beginning of a sentence. Our space Zoom. Now who remembered that from yesterday that we capitalized the Z in Zoom because that's the name of the company or name of the software that we were using. So Zoom space meeting was spelled correctly. Space, whoa, that is not the way we spell was. This is, and that was a sight word that we did in school and also most of you have had on your list. So was, W-A-S, looks like it should be was, doesn't it? But it is was, that's how we spell it. So if you need to fix that, okay? So our Zoom meeting was so, space, much, space, and of course, so much fan, no, we want fun, fun, fun. And I ended this sentence with an exclamation point because I had so much fun at it. Does anyone see up here? a digraph. Let's see if you can find one. Let me give you a hint. It goes ch. Does anyone see the ch? 
There it is, the CH at the end of much. M -a ch. All right, very good. So make any fixes that you need to, and then we're going to go ahead and move on. I'm going to go ahead and just take this over here so we can first read our poem. Remember, I'm going to uh, turn it this way so the windows aren't having the glare there on the thing. Let's see if we can get this in focus here. focus now I hope so Miss Mathis's eyes aren't doing too good all right now I'm gonna go ahead you can pause it if you want and try to read the whole thing I'm gonna get closer so we can see the words it's April sh showers pitter patter rain drops falling from the sky here's my umbrella hold it when the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, little flowers start to bud, then grow, grow, grow. And I could tell in our meeting today that, or excuse me, yesterday, that a lot of you have been working on this and paying attention when I miss Nap the sense of videos. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop it so I can do the motions with you, okay? Okay, ready to do the motions with me? Here we go. I'm still having to look at the words a little bit. Pitter patter raindrops falling from the sky. Here's my umbrella, hold it high. When the rain is over and the sun begins to glow, go down. little flowers start to bud and grow, grow, grow. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna move over and do some counting next. All right, let's do some counting. Let's count by tens real quick, because I know you guys know how to do that really well. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, let's do my fives, because we did twos yesterday. So we'll do fives today. Five, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Ah, oh, boy, do I miss you all doing the counting over here on the wreck and wreck. Excellent job. All right, moving right along. We're going to do a couple of times here. Okay, remember, we look first at the shorthand to see what hour it is. And if it's on the 12, it means it's an o'clock. So what time is this? 11 o'clock. Very good. Next week, we'll practice writing it again. Okay. All right, 11 o'clock. Now, if I go ahead and move it down, we talked about this yesterday or the day before. There we go. So we still look at that little hand first. It's not at the 12 yet. It's past the 11, so it's still 11. But now it's down here. Let's count by fives and make sure what time it is, if we remember. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So it is 11, 30. Anytime we're on the 6, it means it is a 30 time. Okay, let me do another one. Let's do... is that we look at the shorthand first it's three and it's on the 12 so it's an o'clock three o'clock I'm gonna switch it up a little bit put that down there okay so we look at the little hand it's not at the 10 yet so we're still at nine o'clock okay but it's not nine o'clock because it's not on the 12 it's on the six which means it's a 30 so what time is it it is 9.30. Maybe you can pause it right here and stop. And if you have a clock like this, it's called an analog clock, not a digital one. And you can go and read it right now and see and tell mom or dad or whoever's watching you what time it is and figure it out. Remember, we count by fives. First look at the little hand. Then we count by fives for the big hand to see 
how many minutes there are. So if you have a clock like this, go ahead and see if you can tell what time it is. All right, then come back in just a second. All right, so we're gonna move over. We're gonna do a little bit more. Tomorrow, you're going to take a quizzes, which are a lot of fun, and it's all gonna be about tens and ones like we've been doing all week, okay? So you're gonna to get to do that on the computer for the morning. Tomorrow, Miss Mappas is not doing a morning meeting because I'm meeting with each one of you on Friday for um, us to do a little bit of uh, reading and sight words and that kind of thing. And you're also taking your um, quizzes on this, okay? So don't expect a morning meeting, but you're gonna take that instead, all right? And so we don't have too much time. All right, let's see. What if we, let me see, I'm gonna call it a number and you guys write it down and then we'll put the things on there. All right, can I trick you? I'll see if I can trick you, you guys are really smart. Write down the number 33. Did you get it? So we do 33, we have 33, two threes. Now we have a three in the tens, so we're going to count. Remember these tens have 10 little blocks all connected there, okay? So we can count by 10, so 10, 20, 30, okay? And then we're not finished because it doesn't say 30. We have to have how many of our little ones? Three of them. One, two, three. So then we have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. There you go. Very good. All right, I'm going to take these off. I'm going to call it another number. I'll erase mine. Let's do the number 14. Write that number down. 14. Okay, so we have 14 is a one and a four. I hope you made your numbers right. Did we start at the top and come down? Good job. All right, so how many? 10, now I could do 14 of these little squares, okay, but we don't need to do that because look here, we have a 10 already, right? We know there's a 10 in there, there's one 10. And then how many ones? There are four of them. So we're gonna put one, two, three, four. So we have 10. A, one, a 10 there, and then 11, 12, 13, 14. Very good. Okay, one more, then we'll be all finished. Let me erase this. Let's write the number um, 16. Okay, I'm gonna write a one and a six for 16. And what do we need for that for our blocks? Well, we need a 10. And then we need how many ones? We need six. So I'm gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blocks instead and then you write the number that goes there. So instead of me telling you, we'll do that. Let me set it up. Can you write down the number of what the blocks show? Okay, we have one ten and two of the ones. So the number is 12, very good. All right, I'm gonna erase this. I'm gonna give you some more blocks. Let's do, how about we just do that? Well, that's a pretty easy one. We know how many blocks are there, they're 10. There's one 10, and how many ones? Zero, that's why we write the 10 that way. Very good, all right. And that'll be it for today. Like I said, no meeting tomorrow, um, no morning message, but you do that quizzes for me. Um, and do it in the morning if you can before Miss Mathis meets with you on Zoom, because then I can see how you do on it, all right? Have fun with that. Okay, see you for reading.